Today I'm going to show you how to fix a vehicle that has a steering wheel which has play in it and also has a clunking when you turn the wheel. Now after jacking up the tire, let's pull on it. We can see it's got a little bit of play back and forth. So we'll crawl under and start pulling on things. Now as you can see, the center link has play and it's making a noise. So that's the whole problem. Now since we grabbed the wheel at 9 and 3 o'clock and pulled it, we know that that's got the play because it goes back and forth. If we had grabbed it at 6 o'clock at noon and it would have wobbled, then that would have been ball joints or something else. But this is the center link. Now the first thing we have to do is pull the cotter pin off the top of the nut. Get a pair of cutting pliers and pull it out. Then stick it on the nut and pull like mad. Ugh. Then get your wrench and socket and take it off the rest of the way. And off it comes. Now there's lots of tools you can use to get the ends off, but I'm just going to use one of these tie rod separators and a hammer because we're throwing the old parts away. It doesn't matter if we damage them. You just put the fork in between here and start hammering like mad. Success! Now we're going to do the other side. Now the wheel's in the way of this one, so we got to get the wheel off. Now we can get to the cotter pin and the bolt that holds the other side on. Now this one's on super tight, yeah. so you got to pull like mad. Then we do the same hammering process. Off it comes. Now here comes the tricky part. This is actually three pieces. So you buy the three pieces and then you got to put them together. Now some guys try to use the center piece that they both screw into over. But you can see it's all rusted and often they break. I just buy another one because it's only 30 something bucks extra. And here's a trick how to get it the right length. You can measure end to end, the original one, then screw this together until it's the same length. Now they'll be pretty close, maybe you'll have to have a front end alignment shop align it when you're done, but this will be pretty close. Then you put one end in, bolt it up, then we put the other end in, then get it nice and tight. First use a ratchet to get it snug, then get a long extension bar to get it super tight. You don't want this baby coming loose. Yeah. Then slide the cotter pin in, and bend it up so it doesn't fall out, and tighten up the lock nuts so the adjustment won't come off. Make sure they're nice and tight too, so it doesn't move. And last but not least, grease the grease fittings. So the next time your steering starts to have play in it and make noises, why not fix it yourself? And remember, if you have any car questions, just visit the Scotty Kilmer channel. And I'll answer them as soon as I get done talking with this dolphin.